Uh -huh. I wanna hustle and rob like fuck a job. Woo! Now supervisor, true survivor, hypercritical, yes, the scrutinizer, spit with substance. Coach it's all. Feel me? Mike down here, we're gonna pop this for Mike being cute oh. right now. Jeez. Uba getting right. Pull me out. That's Double cool. cup. The only way. The only. The only way the culture moves, man. Somebody asked me the other day, what's the culture? Like, is it like where my parents is from or where I'm from? I'm like, nah. No. That's not the culture. This no is way the culture. Is, though. I mean, it is, you know, it's our culture, but this is the culture, you understand? It is. Money way, that way. This is the culture. Put that over there. Let her in the mom crib, you know. This is also Shy Mom Crib, yes. In the Bronx, BX. BX Studio. It is. Got a studio in Harlem, too. LTY Media, Black Mike, holla at me. Hopefully, there's something in the Oof. That's for the cultura. We were trying to shoot outside today, but it's like so much culture going on. It's like, Facts. Happy Father's Day. Yeah, happy Father's Day. We're filming on Father's Day, guys. So if you're a dad, love your child. What was going What was going on outside was too much music, bro. It's too much culture going on outside. That's the problem. Too much culture. So today, Coach thought we want to start y'all first with the two songs of the week, get it out the way, so that way we can get into what we really trying to talk about today. You did? So the first two songs, well, my first song of the first two songs is Shooter by Playboy Cardi. Second song, Why Be It My Man. Bounce out with that. Hard. That's like one of the hardest tracks that I've heard. I ain't gonna lie, he put me on that song. Fire. Like a young nigga. Like, it's, and he was a freshman. Honestly, when I saw that freshman list, First thing I was like, I was like, I know who most of them are. Yo, cheers, cheers. Mike, you should be here, but you ain't keep returning up. <laughs> so like the first thing I thought about when I saw that first, when I saw that X double XL cover this year, I was like, where's why be in my man? If he's not there, like he was the first person I was looking for because like out of the young niggas, he he, he, he does it like effortlessly. And he's he's like what 16, 17? I don't know. He's just 16, he's just 17, some young funny nigga. Or like he's himself all the time. Like, it's the only way. That's not the one that was fucking with like China. Mm -mm. I think that's why being on Mighty or something like that. Oh, yeah, Almighty, Almighty J. J. Facts. Out of line. He said they met on, uh, what's that shit? Uh, Christian Mingle or something like that? You Black people meet? They met on something like that, Christian Mingle. I swear to God, put that on everything. They, they admitted it to, to both of them. I that's mean, at least that's what line. they're saying. That's out of line. Culture. That's out of line. At least that's what they're saying. What's your two songs, bro? My two songs this week. What was my two songs this week, bro? Yeah, my two songs. My two songs this week was one, you feel me, no A Boogie this week, I'm sorry. BX, but I was at Summer Jam, Summer Jam was popping. If everybody had said it wasn't popping, you just don't know how to have fun, man. That's the mm -hmm. problem. I was, you know, I know the Summer Jam. Popping our pivot, we gonna take him next year, man. Matter of fact, we going they gonna invite us next year. How about that? To cover it. Put it on the culture. But we not working for 187 though. Unless they I wanna go on record saying that's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mess with High 97 a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I listen to it on the radio, but like when I hear it sometimes, I'm just like disappointed at the things that come out of the, the, the people. Yeah. Rosenberg was out of line what he on said? Friday. He said that, he said Drake don't got a classic album. What? So he said that, he said Take Care is not a classic album. What? I mean, he might, I think he said something about it wasn't a classic rap album. Album. I guess, but, but stop it. Oh yeah, it's kind of like what you were saying last week. What? Oh, like a couple weeks ago on Culture Talk, you was like classical rap. We need to make a classic. Oh yeah, yeah. Like so like maybe that's rap, what he like, was. Maybe that's. What I he mean, was it doesn't fit the classical rap sound, but his albums are definitely classic. But yeah, Rosenberg was saying that. That's not what makes me not want to mess with High 97 though. That was his own opinion. It's Ebro, man. He wow. get on me, but like, get him out of there, man. <laughs> don't worry. When we get more lit, that's when we gonna talk about that. You don't get him out of here. Oh man. Now, but my two songs is um my first song is Juice World Lucid Dreams. That emo Listen rap. Listen to my heart instead of my head. <laughs> Yo, that emo rap is different. I'm listening to that shit like that shit different. Yeah, it's wavy though, and you know what's fuck. You know what kind of wavy? Uh, not wavy. I was gonna say weird. It's instead of it being just like music where like he's rhyming and it sounds kind of like hip hop, you make it emo rap. Because like at some, you might be able to classify that as non emo rap as like just something else like yeah, whatever whatever you sound like Paramore type thing. Yeah, like, like that. He was just on some Paramore shit like 
but this is emo rap. We're going to... I'll fuck with it. I, I'll claim Juice World any day for the rap culture. Yo, Juice World, Lucid Dreams. I listen to the whole project. What was my second song? So it was Lucid Dreams, Juice World, and my second song was XXX Tentacion featuring Trippy Red for all the love, yo. I was in my bag this week, a professional <laughs> bag, clearly. That album though, I mean that song, <laughs> fire, bro. Mm-hmm. Not that album, his other album though, the most recent one he dropped. Yeah, what was that, that was actually? It was called Question Mark. Yeah. Question Mark, yeah, that album is fire. This Fuck Love though, featuring Trippy Red, XXX, fire. That's the two songs of the week though. Two songs of the week. I'm pretty sure if Mike was in his song would have been like Beethoven or some shit. Or he a single week. He gonna drop soon. Don't worry. All right. So this weekend, I feel like Jay Z decided to be petty, do whatever he wanted to do. But he dropped his album with Beyonce. Actually, it's yeah, it wasn't it's more about Beyonce petty, featuring Jay Z, but they dropped the Carter album. Oh man, I'm tripping. Ooh. Culture. That wasn't the culture. <laughs> they do that. That's part of the culture sometimes. You know, that was out. that was the Carters though. Yeah. You feel me? What was the name of that shit? Everything we love or everything is good? I didn't hear it because I'm not too. Uh, I can't say, I don't know. I'm just not the, the biggest Jay Z Jay Z fan. I mean, I'm I respect it, bro. I respect that everything is love. Nas the name though? of it is everything is love. He heard the Nas album. I didn't hear the Nas album. But my older brother loved that. I he, heard yeah, the your Jay-Z older brother and loved Beyonce. the Nas album. Yeah. It's so I know the Jay Z Beyonce, bro. I fuck with it. At first, when I started listening to it, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna give you my review of the Jay Z. He gonna do give it a little more nods. I started the Jay Z Beyonce it was heavy Beyonce. First three songs heavy Beyonce. I fuck with it though. This is a quick review. I only heard it one two times. I'm not gonna gas it. You feel me? When it started getting to the um the seven one three song, fire. Beyonce was wailing on that shit. The nice fire. She wailing. Ape shit, you feel me? Quavo, Offset was on the ad libs, holla at them, you feel me? They culture always. The last four songs though, Friends, Heard About Us, Black Effect, and the very last one, Fire, Jay Z did his thing. I heard them shots. The incident didn't catch that Drake shot. I heard the Drake shot when he was talking about putting Meek on a shirt. That was to Drake. Listen to that ball. He bothered him. And he bothered the Yeezy. Beyonce came on a song like, he was, she, they was going back and forth. Beyonce, like, what she said? She like, oh, the glass house still throwing stones. Then Jay-Z come on like, hold me, Jesus. Then Beyonce come back like, watch the throne. You oh. feel me? Ooh. Be careful, yay. They That's on your head. I'm going to I'm gonna have to listen to that when, when they come on Apple Music. Because you know the <laughs> you know Apple Music game. That's how I rock. The title game, though. That's why I already heard that shit. You feel me? Yeah. But the real issue is why he dropped... Either the same day or the day after Nas. Why you feel like he did that for? Why he did that? Um, I think he could still hurt his soul. Like, I don't know. I think so. Maybe he doesn't even care about it. Maybe he does. But I know what he is trying to do. Maybe he has to do something with sales because you gotta drop around the same time. <coughs> I noticed something about the rap game. It's like or like hip hop or like music in general. People who drop albums, like dope artists, drop their albums on the same weekends and like. What does it have to do with anything? I don't know. You can figure that out for yourself. Facts. But That's true. It's usually like the dope artist. Yeah, like what Pusha T and ASAP Rocky. The trappers drop around the same time. It's like whoever drops an album, you could you could you could pretty much count on another artist dropping an album that same day or a couple facts, times. Facts, facts. For sure, for sure. That Nas joint it had seven tracks on it. I noticed this because once track seven was over, I went to the first one and I'm like, where's the rest of the album? But Yeezy produced it. He also has seven um, tracks on his album, on his album, and the Kissy Ghost thing, and Pusha T's album. So I feel like that's what he's doing. Like that. That's what he's doing. That's what he's doing. Hold on, excuse me, excuse me. Seven I tracks. mean, I liked it though. I like the idea because now music is transforming to like where back then you would need to have like three, three dope verses and two hooks to like make it a real, real dope song. Now it's song like two minutes, Facts. three minutes of Facts. like. Of like you know whatever it is dopeness and then now to like even make it take it further they didn't cut down they cut down the, like the time of the music yeah. now they cut down the tracks Facts. so now you're getting two uh seven tracks that's like two, two and three, three minutes. minutes now you're not getting four minutes that's four like minutes. 15 tracks you're not getting that facts though yo, I never, it's I attention never, span i never put that track together i yeah. i noticed when they started cutting down the track count the amounts of track on the album 
I didn't really put together that they cut the length down as well, bro. Yeah, bro. They cutting the songs out of 239, 330, 320 tops. 330 is... They do 330 when it's a real song. Chorus, verse, chorus, verse. And when you see a five-minute song, it got to be some kind of remix with the homie goes... Facts. Uh, you know Young what is on there, too. People, they, they spit eight-ball verses now, bro. Yeah. And that's eight what's really balls, catching bro. people. That's what's, really, that's what's really catching you. And that's why, like, I, it moves with what's That might be on. a hidden gem. That might be a secret right there, bro. It's one of Cut the your fucking track length down, man. Nobody want to hear that shit. Yeah, most of it be like, like, like literally, the dopest artists they come out with, they start off with the hook. Fucking a bad bitch. And then they, and, and, and then they got the eight bar, the Ooh. eight bar verse. <laughs> then they come with the hook again. And then depending on how hard the hook is, yo, they will put in the second verse. Playboy call you, Chopper won't miss. My nigga, he got straight, like, six bars straight. And I bet you just like, <laughs> and that, uh, uh, no yeah. words, bro. Just straight ad libs, bro. <laughs> bars, though. Ad lib bars. That's crazy, crazy, man. It's different, though. It's different. It's different. But you feel me? We're going to listen to some tracks more often. You feel me? We're going mm-hmm. to have a better review coming soon. What we got next, though? Um, Takashi and Keith, bro. <sighs> the beef is out. Um, I don't think the beef is going out of line or anything like that. I just feel like Yo. the trolling level has gotten to max. To, like, max. I and saw now- this video, bro, of this dude. Like talking, he like people telling me Takashi coming to Chicago. Why y'all telling me that? Word, Takashi going to Chicago giving out hamburgers. That's what they worried about, bro. They worried about a nigga in a colorful rainbow wig coming to Chicago with giving out hamburgers. That's who y'all want to band up against, man. He got y'all looking like fools out there. They talk about he out there with cops, bro. He's a celebrity. The, the cops is gonna be anywhere he go, regardless whether you call him or not. They gonna be there. I don't want to hear Takashi Wilder. He got Brooklyn <laughs> looking real good. He got Chicago looking real bad. And he got shot New Yorkers that's saying he's wilding, that he should be scared of Chicago looking bad. Why he got to be scared for? Why? <laughs> nah, Get him out of here. Bro. My son Takashi <laughs> Wilder, he had Chief Keith mm-hmm. BM wilding, bro. Get him out of here. He um, I've been seeing Lil Reese be commenting on the Takashi shit, and it sounds like it's jokes now. Like, it's gotten to the point where, like, I feel like the niggas who are being attacked from Chicago are like, well, do I really just want to kill this nigga for, for the petty shit that, like, are you saying, like, why should he be scared? Like, did these niggas have too much to worry about for them to, like, actually really want to do something? My opinion. I, I just feel like Lil' seeing them, the niggas ain't really sweating it like that. But, Takashi also know that they are. Yeah. I mean, my thing is, niggas want to get together and kill Sakashi, get together and kill the other niggas that's killing the young niggas, you know what I Chicago is a lot of murders out there, but you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Sakashi Wildin' though, bro, and that Tati song, fire. What's that? Like six for six, bro? Nah, 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 he, he been six for six. I think he was six for six when Gotti came out. So what's this, seven for seven? Seven for seven. Tati, seven seven. Gotti. Tati, Kiki. Gotti, Kiki. Uh, Rondo. What's the mother shit? Kuda. Gummo, that's six. He six for six. Nah, he got he got seven. He got seven. We gonna look at him right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's it, bro. Look, Billy, 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 Billy Gummo, Rondo, Kiki, <laughs> Kuda, what? Tati, yeah, Tati, and Gotti, and Gotti. Seven for seven. He's wilding. He's on fire. He's on fire, bro. He's on fire. He's and he's out here getting money. And he had to beat me with the robbers, looking all retarded. Two eighty, Yappy. That's throwback when YouTube first came out. But I probably don't even remember that. Yeah, he y'all gonna beat me. I'm a little old. You feel me? That shit had YouTube. I remember BB belts. So when I was in high school, like niggas used to really wear their BB belts on their shit. Like it looked like a chain. Like shit was iced out. And they use different fights and shit like He's that. He's smart. That's how you know that Takashi, he really part of the culture. Like, that shit I grew up on. Like, he brought that shit back. And some people were like, oh, he's still in bars. But he was really just showing love. Like, that shit was valid. And I think the Yappy nigga that, yeah, I th- that yeah. spit those bars, he like tweeted something. Like, I think, I think, valid. yeah, I think anytime like somebody who's making like a movement like that is going to know consciously when to use like a... Uh, Oh shit. Yeah. Like, yeah, I don't think they'll copy it, like, you know, on some yeah, cool yeah. shit. It was good time, it was yeah. good time. Like, if you know about it, you know about it. Yeah, if you don't know about it, you like don't that. know about it. And niggas won't even sing it, like, in the lyric. Niggas just yeah. be, like, walking in the hallway, they'll be be sagging, fly like a dragon. Exactly, that's regular shit. That, that shit, shit was fly like a viral. dragon. Shit like that. Viral on YouTube. Early, when YouTube first started, like, viral. The niggas would have had ass out the ass. Like, come on. 
By the way, we trying to get to that comment, like, subscribe, culture talk. We hear everything. Comment, like, subscribe. Facts, though, Ain't facts, though. Okay. But hip hop been real staticky lately. Even that Uzi and Rich the Kid shit. Man. Stop talking about it. Yo, people be saying these dudes are dressing for but these niggas. Uzi pressed Rich the Kid, bro. He legit was standing there like this with his hand in his shirt like this. Mm. Like, yo, what's up? What we doing? Like, come on, man. These niggas. Uh, these are rich. Like, these trap rappers is wild. Rich. It's alright. Everybody <laughs> takes L's. That was let's, let's not try to do it again. Or, like, at least make it look that bad. Because Lil Uzi, you know, he did what he did. You ain't do what you had to do. I think you could have served him up real nice, but whatever. Um, you know, but he went through some real shit though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Imagine if Uzi had something to do with that. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think Uzi want anything to do with that. As far, I don't think he would. Yeah, it's nothing for him. It's not in there for him. He already pulled up on him with the hands, looking yeah, for yeah. hands. Like, but yeah, put his up for Rich the Kid. When he did, yeah. he got he got like Coleman. Coleman, Coleman he got. Yeah. I think Fake hit him with the gun type shit. Yeah. Bing. Uh, allegedly, or these are what's going around is that like the girl set him up. His shorty. And it sounds yeah. Oh, the girl he was with. He yeah. actually has a wife. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. And that was in L. A. It must have been in L. A. Because I saw yeah, it was L. A. T. M. Z. was following the game. The game like yo, call me. I get all that canceled for you. We don't do that no more. Da, da, da. I mean, the game claiming all that. He said he canceled with Rich the Kid. Give him a call, then, baby. <laughs> give him a call. If he's saying he can help you out, give him a call. Give him a call, man. Give him a call, Give him a call, Rich. Because I fuck with How the music, How do you feel about man? that, though? The game getting that shit so bad, he can cancel all that. Like, how you really think these these LA, because LA be act, These LA rappers be acting like they really hold weight in the streets, too. Because we know, like, New York rappers, they may be... New York is a little different. Like, you can hold weight in your hood, in your block, in the surrounding blocks, but you don't really... It's been a while since somebody had weight around the entire New York. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like your name will stop anybody from being yeah. smoked in every borough. It's been yeah, a true. minute for that. I don't remember that. It's always in the area. Like when you from Harlem, you know the right niggas in Harlem, you good. You from you from this Russia. part of the Bronx or that part of the Bronx, you good. These LA niggas be acting like they hold weight through the whole LA. I don't Someone know. Someone like Game though. I mean, I don't know how much weight. The game holds, cause I don't know about any weight that anybody holds universally. <laughs> but I feel like he should give him a call because shit, we're gonna put it to the y'all put it to the test. Like shit, probably gonna happen again. What you think? I mean, yeah, where if if pe- somebody could do that and get away with it, it's gonna happen again. If you let somebody get away with it at such a large scale, even if it's not the same people that did it the first time, this is just her shit. If, if the world goes and it's not even just hood shit, it's worldly shit. If world goes around, if world goes crazy. around and somebody did that, and it's valid, you game. Like anybody, not somebody else that feel like they really gonna do something, gonna try it. Like let's figure it out, man. Praise up for Mr. Kid. I hope it wasn't shorty. I hope it wasn't his people. Alright, Rich Trevor the game. Money yeah, with Rich Trevor. Trevor. I don't know. I Money respect with. Mr. Kid. Though. He's doing his thing. He's a young nigga. People don't know. Every time, not. every time he who said, signed to him? Jay Critch. Uh, Jay Critch, famous Dex is with Rich Trevor. J. Chris, bro, he go in, son. Famous Dex, he do his little, you know what I'm saying? He do the thing. He do that, he do that bop. Like, he, yeah. His music is fire, man. Rich Fabulous. Pay the first to the kid, get better. Good world. Mm-hmm. Uzi, I fuck with your shit, too. But Uzi made a mistake on the DJ drama early on. Uzi should have did his own Why he made a mistake? I mean, he's, he's I mean, he's, now. Yeah, he's still signed to like, the drama. How, he's, how would he he's not be signing him? Though. Oh, he's been complaining about Uzi? Yeah, he's been complaining about it because that's kind of how the beef with Rich the Kid started, bro. Uzi was complaining about being signed up. My fault, that whole saying. Oh, and then and then he said, yeah, come then, over here to Rich he was like, Yeah, he was like, fuck that. Like, Rich was like, shit, you bet you should have signed me. Mm-hmm. I mean, he should have signed. Why would you sign a DJ drama and Don Cannon? Like, no disrespect to them. But, like, if they came to me and tried to give me a deal, like, I probably wouldn't take it. Because if y'all trying to give me a deal, then there's more I could do. You feel me? <laughs> Right. But at the end of the day, Lil Uzi is the type of you gotta know the type of artist you are. Lil Uzi is the type of artist that know he can create his own way. If you an artist like somebody like me right now, I'm taking a deal with the drama. You feel me? Because I'm gonna get up to a certain level. But I'm gonna just be smart to know how long I'm gonna sign a deal for. That's why. Do you know how long? It's I don't know. But he been complaining about not being able to drop his music how he want, bro. Damn, bro. That's that's the problem with like a whole bunch of artists though. Like they want to drop their music when. When it is, and then like Jermaine Dupri was on the radio, shout out to Jermaine Dupri, got inducted to the uh, Songwriters Hall of Fame. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, so, Def, shout out to that. 
You already know, Team Bow, Team Shad, Team all that. Check out our video, it's Bow Wow Legend. I actually got the most. Yo, let's talk about it real quick. Uh -huh. For everybody saying Bow Wow's not a legend, the only video we got up that has Bow Wow in the title has the most views. I'm just saying. Just saying. Keep it's Bow Wow Legend, show you. He was saying that, like, that he finds a problem with that because, like, I guess when you're the producer or whatever, or you sign somebody, you kind of have the vision for when that artist should put their art into the world. And then most of the time, the artists don't feel that way, so that's where the problem collides. Like, you get people like Lil Uzi, Uzi yeah, start complaining. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, ah. Well, not people like Lil Uzi. Every, you know, it happens to everybody. Yeah, that's a fact, though. Shit is crazy, though. <laughs> Jello. Hey, yo, you see the jersey, man? You see the jersey. BBB. Big you feel me? This is you see. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, Post. This you see a late right He ain't gonna do me like that, bro. Yeah. Hey, go do me like that, baby. Yeah, Big ball, to right. this, this do, ain't baby. BBB, but look, this, I'm gonna sponsor us, us, man. Sponsor, sponsor us, sponsor us. But shout out to the sponsors, you feel me? And these health and wellness, man. That's what we do, man. We trying to live a good life, man. We drinking this right now, but this is champagne, man. That ain't no good, you know. We was drinking any last time, so that shit got too much sugar. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I should have a lot of sugar, bro. A lot of sugar. Like, Why do they put sugar? Like, does you? I don't know. Say he's drunk. But yeah, yeah, man, big bowler brand, man, JBA. Yo, I saw a report. LeVar is paying every At least three K is on that. Three K a month, bro. Three K a month, that's Three K a month and sixty percent of jersey sales. Oh yeah, I see that. So if they get lit, that's chicken for them. He's doing his thing, man. And and he's not trying to like, you know, you could go to the NBA off that. Like that's yeah. what he's trying to do. He's trying to help kids reach their ultimate dream of going to the NBA. What he's not here trying to shark, bro. People trying to make him seem like he's trying to lowball, trying to shark. I mean, they're the giving you three thousand dollars for like, playing bro. basketball. Honestly, he's that's that's help. basically just another league that's being televised. He, if like, anything, he's trying to cut out the NCAA, which I don't fuck with because they're not giving get that bread up. Man. Not making that bread. Get that bread up. Yeah. Why y'all so mad? If they don't want to pay and the coaches want to treat their players, let them treat them. What's the problem? You know, I don't fuck with that. I fuck with the big baller brand. I fuck with the ball ball. Leangelo was working out with the Lakers and the Warriors. What we doing? I think he going. I don't think he, I don't think either team would pick him up. But if either team were either team were to pick him up, I think the Warriors probably do because they don't need nobody. Warriors don't need nobody. But the Lakers, they need people, and uh, I don't think, I don't know. Jello, you probably got a 10-day contract, and I want you to play for the Lakers. That's the thing. I'm sad because you probably won't get picked up. I want you to come to the Lakers Fast. because I believe in LeVar Ball. You think, you think that if the Ball brothers get together, they ain't going to win that championship? Come on now. Come on now. Come, come on. on now. For the coach, man. For the coach, man. We, 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 we winning, man. Three for three, you are. <laughs> Three for three, LaMelo, LiAngelo, and Lonzo in the league. And, three like, three, I, I don't think I should count them out because you see the talent is there, and Nick Jello can shoot the shit. Lonzo's a great player. And that's what I was saying. For the Warriors, he's a great fit. And anybody that can space the floor in the Warriors is a good fit. And ain't no telling what's going on with Melo because he like six, 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 seven now. Just saw some niggas up. Lamelo? I said, yeah, Lamelo. Melo. He's like six. He's like six, six now. He's like Lonzo's like, if not a little taller. Damn, bro. But he don't got the bounce like that. But he's young. He's, he's in young. the JBA right now. Yeah, he's bro. He's gonna be cooking. He's gonna make it to the A, bro. The JBA need to come to um. To to the um Barclays Center. Yeah. If Leangelo get picked up, man, that's lit, man. I would love to see Leangelo get picked up. Mm -hmm. Speaking of the NBA, bro. <sighs> Kawhi, how you feel about that? They wild on Kawhi need to land on the Lakers. I just feel like if he wanted to leave, anybody should sad. come to the Lakers. Well, we Yo, should. why not? Come to the Lakers. Kawhi come to the Lakers. Who else come to the Lakers? Uh, Paul George, LeBron. Paul George, LeBron. The get... only thing I would love LeBron to come to the Lakers, but I just can't. I don't see LeBron leaving the East, bro. You can't see LeBron leaving the East. Nah. Yeah, it's, it's too. To it's gonna be too too open in the East if LeBron leaves. They gonna he's gonna stay there, bro. He has to I stay. Niggas, why? What do you mean too open? Like, why does it even matter to him? He's not like the king of the East. I mean, he's the king of the East. He is why? the king of the East. But it's not bro. like it's not like he's. You know, oh, I'm the king of the East. I can't leave to protect. It's not even like, that. It's like you know, you know when the got NBA got a deep throne. When the Warriors. NBA before niggas can say what they want, the NBA stopped Chris Paul from going to the Lakers to train Kobe. Crazy. They were scared of super teams at that time. Niggas could say LeBron made a super team. Yeah, uh, he was with an old way that Chris Bosh was killing, but it was still shaky. The Warriors is the real, real, real. Kevin Durant joining the fucking Warriors was. Him, that shit was different than everybody. I don't care what nobody say. 
That shit was different than LeBron in Miami, bro. I ain't fuck with that. That shit really hurt. I ain't fuck with neither of it. Well, as a matter of fact, when LeBron went to Miami and did that shit with Bosch and Wade, I was like, yo, y'all mad pony for that. And then when, Ray, was when, then when, Ray, when Ray Allen came, I was like, y'all ultra pony for that. But it was like that. they old. They was old. It was yeah, different. They know LeBron was Dang. LeBron was <laughs> LeBron was doing better than the Heat at that I time. I don't want to hear like an old Wade though, because Wade is fire. Like, it's not yeah. that he was old. Yeah, like Wade but the Cavs. Had a better record than Miami that year. When LeBron went down to Miami, the Cavs had a better record, bro. Yeah, but it was so he it was, was doing Steve better. Wade, who was like who probably like third best player in the league. But then if the that's the league. case, how about um Boston? Kevin Durant. Yeah, Kevin I can't say that either. That, that, was was the time, that, that was the time. That was, that was, that was, that was the time. Old, that was the time though. of basketball when I wasn't even into it. I was on my baseball shit. So I feel you. So I, I wasn't was into it though. That, yeah. And them niggas was old though. But on some real shit though. Kawhi, Kawhi didn't come to the Lakers. Fuck it. Kawhi come to the Lakers, it's lit. I take Kawhi with Kawhi, PG. we lit. Kawhi, Kawhi and PG together. Fuck it. Why not? They gonna both come. LeBron stay in the East. Don't be surprised if LeBron stay on the Cavs. But if he don't, he going to... Let me say to the Cavs, any. I saw a fucking report LeBron going to the to the Celtics and then Kyrie leaving the year after. Oh, Kyrie. Kyrie's not signing his, um, his extension because he's leaving... He's leaving the Knicks some room to whatever. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm He's trying to take the Knicks out. Yeah. I feel like Kyrie is different. I feel like I feel like him. He wants to be. He has such a big ego. Pause. What if that's pause? Nah, it's not pride. Funny. He got so much pride that he got injured and he saw the Boston Celtics do so good. Was, he was I like, I want to leave somewhere else and really be that guy. He left LeBron because he wanted to be that guy. He saw Boston do so good. He like, nah. Too many questions now. I need to go to the Knicks. He like, oh, these. Guys I don't like that man. shit, bro. You different, bro. Stay on the Boston, bro. Terry Rozier was on the fucking first take. Like, yeah, man. At the end of the day, Kyrie's Kyrie. I'm coming off the bench. He knew that shit. Niggas respect you, man. Stay on the team, bro. Come on. Mm, I don't know, man. Terry Rozier's an all. It's like he's he's a baller, bro. Like I think he can take anybody's spot. And he's a baller for his position. Being, tr- I think he can take anybody's spot. That's we gonna see, bro. I don't know. I think LeBron's staying in the East. I just don't know where. And I think Kawhi and PG should just go to the fucking Lakers, man. Get the fucking Lakers back on top, man. Because I ain't going to lie. They dropped the ball. The Rockets dropped the ball, man. This is their year, man. <laughs> it's over. PG leaving. And he he won a max contract, bro. Who? Um, I said PG. My fault. CP. CP. Yeah, he so won a max contract. He wants bro. a max contract. He wants a max contract. Why he want a max contract? I mean, I know why he want a max contract, but like, what you mean? Because really? I feel like he feel like that was his only opportunity. Uh, I feel like he's like that was my window. Nah, that's his, oh, okay. It's over. I feel like I mean, that's how you feel, bro. <laughs> so they basically they found this trick. So basically, it's like if I come in next year with the same with the same bag, they don't see it. It's over. Like, he got injured that last. And he game really won chips, so like, I think he's just gonna come to the league. Fuck it, just. <laughs> The way he was about to do over it, man. Come to the fucking Lakers, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. All right, man. Coach and Talk, man. This was episode four. Episode four. Check out episode three. That was the interview with Black City from Brooklyn. We do interviews with upcoming artists. We gonna we gonna have a we gonna have a different whole array of companies up there, man. We gonna showcase different talents. One hand, watch the other. You up and coming. We up and coming. We gonna get this money. Yeah. It's my man O's D, man. You feel me? Zay. Zay. Videos, music videos, whatever you say, man. Shout out to Andy's health and wellness, man. Live a good, positive life. That's what we always striving for. Aspire to inspire. That is what we do. Coach and talk. Click, like, comment, subscribe. Bang. Get this money, man. That's what we do. <laughs> good.